G'day folks and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today we're going to start looking at um, actual algorithms. So I wanted to start with something simple. We're going to make a function called zero array. And um, this time we're just going to look at uh, how to plan the algorithm out. Since uh, in assembly you often fall into um, pitfalls, you get halfway through your algorithm and you find that you've run out of registers. And uh, it's just a hopeless situation to be in, so it's really good to plan these things out. So we'll draw a few diagrams, we'll outline what we want to do, and then in the next tutorial we'll go through um, actually programming this procedure. So zero array is going to take a void star, C++ calls it a void star, assembly just calls it a pointer. Anyway, it's going to be ARR, and it's also going to take int count in bytes. Okay, so what's this function going to do? Well, it's going to step through from ARR all the way through to um, ARR plus count in bytes and set all of the bytes to zero. It's um, going to do something like this pretty much. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I think I'll draw a diagram anyway. So this will be our array. We don't know what's in there. We don't know how long it is either. Could be a million bytes, could be ten bytes, could be one byte. And um, ARR star is going to start out here. And we want to set that one to zero, then we want to set the next one to zero, then the next one to zero, all the way through until we set um, every single byte to zero. Now, you may well ask, why would you set one byte at once to zero when we could be using um, a word and set two bytes to zero at once? Each iteration through the loop, we take out two bytes at once, and theoretically, our algorithm will go twice as fast. And uh, why not do that indeed? In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, there's no reason to stop there, incidentally. You should be uh, really asking, why not set four bytes at once, or eight bytes at once? Why not indeed use SSE registers and set 16 bytes at once? But um, we're not going to get that excited today. We're just going to look at setting two bytes at once. So first of all, what we're going to need is um, the value that we're setting in some register. So I've picked AX for that. Mov AX 0. And what we want to do is step through um, half of count in bytes times and set um, each word to, well it's going to be 0, 0 because we're using AX and uh, both uh, AL and AH are going to have 0 in them. That's why we step through half. Okay, we know that by the time we get to the um, very first line of our procedure, we know that ARR is going to be in um, RCX. So if we put here, RCX is going to be a pointer to the first byte that we've got to set. And we also know that EDX is going to have count in bytes. Since that's our second parameter, we're using uh, Microsoft's fast call, and the second parameter is passed in EDX. So the first thing that we've got to do is halve the number in um, EDX. So I'll just put that here, halve EDX the count. Um, before we do that, we're going to need the number um, for later on. So we might just um, save EDX to, let's pick a, uh, R8D. That shouldn't conflict with anything later on. Alrighty, then we're going to loop through our array. Um, setting two bytes at once. And then we pop out the end, and we're down here in finished. And that's going to be a label where we return. Okay, so that's going to work fine. But there's a few problems with it that I can see coming up. And uh, this is exactly why it's good to draw these things out first. Um, for a start, if count in bytes happens to be zero, we don't want to set anything. If it's less than zero, well, there's been a mistake, and we don't want to set anything either. So right at the top, we should check if there's zero. 
zero or less. Um, if there's zero or less, then uh, we just want to jump straight down to finished, and um, we don't want to do anything. Let me just get out my eraser. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, the other thing that might come up is um, if count in bytes happen to be odd, then when we halve it, because um, we're using integer arithmetic, uh, we're going to lose that information. Um, we won't know anymore if count in bytes was odd or even, which is exactly why we um, saved it to R8D first. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, after we've finished looping through the array, um, edx over two times, we need to check if the original value, which is now in um, R8D, we need to check if that was odd. So, how do we do that? Well, we'll just put down here, check if um, R8D was odd. Okay, so if set final byte We'll put another label here called set final byte. Um, right here on this line, if we check if R8D was odd, um, if R8D was odd, then we fall through to um, set final byte. If R8D was even, then actually what we want to do is uh, jump straight to finished. Alrighty. And the other thing, the, the final thing, the final problem that might come up that I can see is um, if initially count in bytes was odd, but further than that, if it was 1, um, we've got a problem. Halving EDX will lead to um, 0, and right here the first thing that we did in our loop was um, set 2 bytes. So already we'd, um, we'd set both this top byte to 0, and we'd set the bottom byte to 0 but the array was only one long, so we've set some byte in memory that's not ours to set. Whatever happened to be in memory after the array. Could be anything, could be nothing. Um, the program will run, it would do that, and uh, Windows wouldn't complain, or it's very unlikely that Windows would complain. This byte just here, this second byte, is going to be in our data segment, but um, it's going to lead to confusing results, like we've just set something to zero when uh, we don't really know what it is. So we've obviously got to be careful of that. And uh, right up here, straight after checking for zero or less, we should uh, check for one. If the um, count in bytes happens to be one, then we don't want to fall through to our loop just here. No, instead, we want to um, jump all the way down here and boing over that line jump straight to set the final byte. Um, if we program it right, then set the final byte should work for um, both the uh, final odd number byte and uh, also for this um, first byte if we happen to be given one. Alrighty, so that's how our algorithm is going to work. It's going to set two bytes at once. This will be 0, 0, and this will be 0. So we get 0, 0, so get 0, 0. And even if we're given a negative value or a zero value, we're not going to hurt anything in RAM. And if we're given an odd number or an even number, um, we've left a provision for that as well. So our algorithm sounds uh, sounds pretty smooth. And uh, next tutorial, we'll get on to um, exactly how you code all of this stuff in uh, assembly. Alrighty, uh, thank you for listening.